Hello all, Hayden Burkholder here. You probably remember me from some of the other Class Cancelled episodes in the past. Well, that's not the only thing I do here at ZTV. I'm also on the show 300 Seconds of Science, which is the science show that explains complex science topics in five minutes. The cool thing I've learned is how to communicate more effectively, and it's also showed me how to display awesome and in-depth graphics in a simple way. And with that, I'm gonna send you off to the next show. Go out, enjoy life, and stay curious. Like Lights Camera Akron, will you have the chance to sit down with local professionals and attend newsworthy events, all while building a quality demo reel. ZTV has a lot to offer in terms of genuine professional experience. ZTV also provides professional experience in sports broadcasting. You can film any kind of university sport and provide compelling commentary in Akron events. However, if you have a niche for some other kinds of sports and games, maybe check out some of our other shows. Like here on Goofing Off. On Goofing Off, we focus a lot more on geek culture like anime, video games. We got cosplay segments like Becca's Create Your Character. We have mine, which is just, you know, me playing cooking games. And you know, on Goofing Off, you can pretty much talk about anything you want. Except for music, arts, and entertainment. On Lowdown, you get the chance to see bands, go to concerts, festivals, and so much more. If you like interview experience and getting to edit videos in a creative way, this is the show for you. So as you can see, everyone in ZTV has a lot to say about the program, but to get the full picture, let's go talk to our general manager, Juan Contreras. So Juan, we just talked with a bunch of the teens, and I wanted to ask you a question as the general manager of ZTV. How do you think ZTV impacts the students here? Well, that's a great question, Becca. So it's uh, full-on experiential learning. Not only are they getting that hands-on training that, are, that will help them professionally, uh, they're learning a lot of skills that are helping them with other areas. So for example, time management. Production is extremely time consuming. As you know, it, your average college student is gonna be really busy with uh, work, uh, full-time uh, class schedule, an active social life, extracurricular activities, and then you dump this uh, on top of that. So the ZTV student is gonna have to, to learn uh, one way or another how to manage time effectively. As far as I know, uh, ZTV helps students gain real-world experience uh, while still being in college. What kind of real-world experience does ZTV offer these students? Well, the station operates as uh, closely as possible uh, as a real television station. There are certain limitations to that because we're and uh, we're part of an academic unit. But you know the fact that you would have a producer in, char in charge of the, uh, the the creative output of that program and a team that is in charge of uh, producing content for that program, that's exactly what you're gonna face out there. We're trying to train the students to, you know, cater the content not just for television, but to also repackage it for uh, web delivery, for social media. You're also kind of responsible for your own content as you would be um, in the professional world. That's one of the areas that the station also mimics what you're gonna find out there. You know, we have so many different programs that cater to different interests. If you join Akron After Hours, you're gonna uh, be working more on building narratives. But if you join the ZTV Sports Report, uh, you have to worry about contacting the right individuals in the athletics department to schedule shoots, to schedule interviews with players and coaches, and you have to cover the games and you have to come back and, and put all of that together. So everybody's getting those kind of experiences that will help when they join professionally. If um, a student wanted to join, how would they go about doing that? So you have to be a University of Akron student and submit an application. Your application needs to be turned in uh, within the first two weeks of every regular semester. So we take applications in the fall and in the spring semesters. Uh, but it doesn't matter what uh, major you're pursuing. We have an engineering major, for example. In fact, all of the class cancel viewers will know him because his name is Hayden Burkholder and he probably just joined on a whim and he said, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. And he liked it so much, he's been here for a couple of years. If you are majoring in nursing, engineering, and you wanna expand on other skills or just meet really cool people, you can just join ZTV. And then Juan, I know you mentioned Akron After Hours. Uh, I don't think we've talked to them yet, so let's go see what they're up to. Thanks, Becca. Now we're on the first floor of Colby Hall to see how Akron After Hours sets up some of their sketches. 
All right, so we're here with the current producer of Akron After Hours, Kylie Stanley. Kylie, do you want to tell us how you set up for an After Hours sketch? Yeah, so first things first is you want to make sure that you have the correct set for whatever you're filming. So right now we have a fake interview set. And then you also want to make sure that you set up three-point lighting just to make sure that everyone's properly exposed. So you have your key light, which is the strongest light, and you want to set up that to the right. And then you have your fill light, which just fills out the shadows, and you just put that to the left. And then you have the backlight, which you put in the back, and it gives us kind of like a halo contour effect and fills out the rest of the light. Awesome. So what's next? Yeah, so if we have a still shot, we want to make sure that the camera is actually put on the tripod. And one thing that's super important is that making sure that the tripod's actually level or else your shot can be a little tilted. And then once the camera's on and the tripod is set to the correct height that you're going to be filming at, then you can start messing with the settings. Typically, most things in ZTV are shot at 30 frames per second to get more of a television look. Instead of something a little too smooth, like 60 frames per second, you see in video games or in slow motion footage. <laughs> the shutter speed in video is usually set to a rate that follows a 180 degree rule. So for 30 frames per second in video, you want to set the shutter speed to 60. This ensures that we get the most natural motion blur in video and not something super choppy. Next, you want to set the aperture, which not only affects the light getting into the lens, but also the depth of field, which is the separation of the subject that's in focus from the blurry background. And then you have the ISO, which digitally brightens from within the camera. And if you set this setting way too high, the footage can get a little noisy or green. So next up, you want to white balance. And so how you do that is you take a picture of a white piece of paper on the camera, go to custom white balance, click set, and then all of a sudden, it's kind of set it to the correct values. So that way nothing's incorrect. Next up, we have focus. With that, you want to go to the outer ring and make sure that the person's face is completely in focus and looks sharp. Lastly, you have audio. And what you want to do with that is you want to take your boom or your lav mic and set it up accordingly to your subject. With audio, you want to make sure that you check your levels. If the audio is too high or peaking, the audio is not going to be usable. But if the person is too quiet, you're not going to really hear what they're saying. If you boost that, it's going to sound really scratchy. So you want to make sure that your audio levels are set between negative 3 and negative 9 decibels. Then once you have everything set up, you're ready to film the sketch. Awesome. So do you want to get into the set? Yeah, let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Kylie Show. I'm Kylie, and today my guest is a rapper who raps about sauce. Um, no, that's, 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 who wrote that copy? That's wrong. I, I don't rap about sauce no more, okay? I, Heinz is bad, except for on, like, fries. That's, it's still pretty good on fries, but I only rap about horses. So... What, what's your new song about? Yeah, I got a new song. It's the best song ever, and uh, it's called Old Town Road. It's completely original, and I think it's the best song ever, so, um, yeah, you, you like it. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, you love it, and it's good. We'll see. <sighs> wow, that's a whole lot to keep track of. How do you guys do it? Honestly, you make a lot of mistakes, and then you kind of just learn from it. It seems like everyone puts in so much time here. Oh yeah, everyone I feel like is always up here and everyone's trying to make something that's always the best and everyone is always hands-on and helping other shows. I mean, you could ask anybody for help and they'll help you. Yeah, well, from my own experience hosting Class Cancelled and doing stuff for Lowdown, I mean, so much time goes into it, but it's so rewarding what you can get out of this program. I 100% agree. Well, thanks again, Kylie, for talking to us. I think that's about it for this episode of Class Cancelled. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the University of Akron. And we'll see you next time the class is canceled.